All right, good morning. We're going to go over some Python script today and organize our media folders. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. All right, <clears throat> so here we have my pictures. And if you notice that they're broken up for my Google Pixel anyway, it's they start with PXL underscore. We have the date and we have the month, well, the year, the month, and the date all in here and we want to take those and I want to break them up in different folders by year so for example if I go to 2020 <clears throat> these are broken up by you know January February March April May and so forth and if I go into zero one these are all my photos from January of 2020 and I want to take all those photos that I have and I want to make sure that they put in by the year and the month. So to do that, we're going to write a Python script. So let's get started with that. All right, to get started here, we still have these files in the background. Again, we're going to set there and put them in the right folders. We're going to have to create some folders there because some of these are um, 2021, 2022, and so forth. So what I want to do is I want to read the file. So I'm going to import the glob. And since I'm working with the operating system, I'm going to import OS. And then, since I need to work with the utilities, I'm going to import move. And then, I have all those imported. And what I did here is I just hit shift enter to run that. You could go up here and hit run, or you can hit cell, you know, run all, or just run cell. Um, I just like to hit shift enter to run it just because it's um, easier for me. So the next thing we want to do is we want to declare the path. And then what I want for the path is up here, this is going to be my uh, path. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to go down here and put my role in here for my camera roll that's going to be my full path then I want to make sure that my Python is going to point to that path and I'm going to type over here so I want to change the directory to that path then I know that um, I need a way to hold my photos that I'm going to do so hold the file name so I'm going to make a list and I'm just going to name it my photos and then I'm going to just make a list right there then I'm going to start my loop to loop through my files in the glob and then I'm going to have the path right and then what I want to find I want the path name and I'm going to only want the JPEGs so I'm just going to add that in here and I'm going to use the star for the row key and I'm going to hit dot and then I'm going to hit the JPEG and then I'm going to close that up with the uh, colon and I'm going to finish right there so then what you want to do is I want to print the name just to make sure that I'm getting everything correctly that I want. <clears throat> so shift enter to run that. And I got an error in here. So why do I have an error? Oh, because I don't have an R right here. So <clears throat> I put an R up here to make it read. Um, if not, then I would have to use like the double double on these on, on every slash mark I'd have to double it up but I'm just going to put an R in there to fix that and I'm going to hit shift enter and then I have all my um, all my file names which I don't really want all the file names I just really want this part right here with the pixel on there so let's think about how we're going to do that so what I want to do is I probably want to figure out how I want to split that up so let's look at print, and then I'm going to go with the name, and I'm 
go to split. And then since I showed you the double slash marks up there again, I could do R and do 1. But for this example, I'm just going to do the um, double ones to show you that it's going to produce the same thing. So when I run this, it's going to have everything split it up. So every uh, list item on here will be split up which is not quite what I want. I only want this last piece. So how do I do that? Well, you go in here, and it's pretty simple because I want the last one in that. So I'm just going to hit negative one. And I, and I run this, and I'm just going to comment out this print command up here and run it. And so now I have all the files listed down here. So if you remember, I only want the ones with the PXL underscore up here so how do I how do I get that well I think what I want to do is to go up here and I'll do the if command so if, if name and then I'm just going to do dot split right here dot starts with and we are going to end up doing the, the PXL underscore. So if the name starts with that, then I'm going to take these over and tab them over since it's in the F command. And then run that. And nothing happened. So why is that? The reason is is because I forgot to split that up. So I'm going to put that up here. But if name dot split, because remember I wanted to split and starts with the PXL. Because what I did up here, the name, which is different, because if I just look at the name, that's the full name right there. And we don't really want that full name. We just want the um, what it is on this last part here. So now, if I run this up here, since I split it out to that last section and hit shift enter, now I have only the file names that begins with PXL underscore. So these are all the files that I'm interested in. So now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to store those folders into, a, um, into my list. Which is very simple. Um, we already declared my list as my photos up here. So I'm just going to do my photos. And I need to pin the list. And then what I want to do is I want to append it by this name split. So I'm just going to copy the whole name split here. And I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to hit shift enter. And now you see that um, we put it into this my photos and to test that out I can just hit my photos and I have it all listed out into my photos photos up here and then we'll turn around and um, do for file in my photos and then we're just going to print the file the file. Now we have it listed all down here, all nice, but that's not exactly what we want because we want this date right here. So how do we get that date? Well, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to split again. And we're going to split. And what do we want to split on? Well, we're going to split on that PXL underscore to get that out. So now when we run this, we're down here and we have it in our array, like right here inside this list, we have 0 and we have 1. Because remember, in computers, we begin our count with zeros. So what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to make that a 1 over there to say that I only want that second part of that array. So now when I run it, I have the whole date listed, like right there. 
So I'm getting closer, but not exactly what I want. So what I need to do is I'm going to split this again. But this time, I'm going to split it on the underscore, which is right here. So when I run this, now we have the date here, and we have the rest of the file over here. So since this is the first part of the array, we just want to hit zero. Now we run it, we have the date only. So that's exactly what we want. So now we can start working with that. Now, if you remember in my folder structure, I just want this first part, this 2020. So how do I do that? Well, let's just copy this right here, just to make it easier for we don't have to retype. And then I'm just going to print this out. And then when I print that out, since I only want the first four characters, I'm just going to put the colons and put a four right there, hit shift dinner. And if you notice, now we only have the 2020 listed right there, which is exactly what we want. So now we know that that's going to be my year. So what I can do here is I can just name this my year equals, and then we'll put it up there. And that's going to, every time it goes through the loop, it's going to rename that year, which is fine. It's what we want, and you'll see why here in a little bit. All right, now that we got, now that we got the my year set up, we're just going to hit enter, and then we're just going to come down here to that next line. And I want to take this right here, and I want to print this out again. So the reason is, is because remember, we want this, we want these two digits past this date. So how do we do that? Well, let's extend this out by six characters. Now we have that date in there. So it's 2021 12. But I just really want this 12 right here. So the way we're going to do that is I want to sit there and take the file. And we're going to do a negative 2 colon. And I'm going to hit enter. Now I have the 12s right there exactly how I want it for the date. And if I spell down here, right. I'll see sevens because it's the um, seven, which is going to be the date right there. So, well, the month right there. So we're good there. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up naming that. Let's name it my month because that's what it is. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go up here and back this up and do my month equals take that off and now that we have that my month and the reason I do it this way I kind of like to physically see what what's it's doing if I can kind of understand um, how that script is kind of broken up <clears throat> so I do that just to print if I can see it and then I'll just rename it when I know it's correctly so the next thing I want to do is we need to create new folders well to create a new folder I'm just going to do my folder equals and then I'm just going to Put that in there. Um, so the new folder is going to be the year. That is, we're going to have that slash mark, and then it's going to be the month. So that's going to be the folder structure. So to get those placeholders filled out, we're going to format that, and it's going to be my year, and then my folder. So my year is going to go in this bracket. My folder is going to go in this bracket. Um, pretty straightforward. So if I want to see that and actually want to print my folder, just for you to see how it looks, we can comment out this print command up here. And then we'll just run it. And it says my folder is not defined. Oh, yeah. I put my folder there. It's supposed to be my month. Um, my month. My month. And you run it. 
and say we have the folder structure 2023-03 all the way down. Well, we're not going to want to comment that out. We're not going to want to create those folders that many times. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a if not OS dot path exists. So we're checking if that exists or not. And what exists? Well, we're going to check out if my folder existed. So if it does not exist, we're going to create a new folder. So we're going to use the OS, we're going to make the directory, and then we're going to name it my folder um, in there, which remember it's going to be 2023 slash 2, but it's not going to make it multiple times. It's going to check if it doesn't exist, then it's going to make it. So that makes all the folders. Well, the next thing we have to do is we have to make sure that we move the files. Right, because that's really we, once we have the folders are created, we have to move the files. So I have a destination variable, and that's going to be my folder. And then I'm going to go down here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. I'm going to move the file. I'm going to go into the OS path, and I'm going to join it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the destination and I'm going to move the actual file. And that's it. And then on, that's all you have to do and remove all those folders. So to kind of show this in action, we have up here, and notice we have all these PXYLs. We only go to 220, so 15, 18, 19, and 20. And when we run this, everything should move, create new folders, and move the files. So it's running. And then we'll just set here for a second, and then um, you should see those files move. Um, it says it's done, so what I'm going to end up doing, I'm just going to go up here and hit Enter to refresh it. And if you notice, we have the 20, 21, 22, and 23 up here. So if I click on 2023, we have the 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, and 04. Click on 04 and we have the file documents listed right there. So if I go back to here, um, we notice we have some PXL files that did not move, but if you notice, they're MP4, so they're not going to move. Um, so what we can tell, like 02, we have all the ones PXL, YL that are JPEGs, they all moved in the right folders and everything. So getting your um, files organized is just simple as that. You know, if I wanted to go back and um, redo this for like another file format, um, for these right here, I would just rewrite the code and take the uh, first part of the date. I wouldn't really have to split on the PXL. I would just have to start off and look for this date and do the same process to get those loaded up. Um, same thing for the MP4s, instead of looking for a JPEG, MP4. But that was a quick and easy way to organize your um, file structure. Um, I could do the same thing with the screenshots, which is like, you know, when you take a screenshot on your phone. Uh, I can organize my screenshot uh, by the dates as well. So any way that you want to organize your file, this is just kind of a little quick tool, a quick example on how you can use Python to organize not only your media folder, but maybe another folder of your choosing. Um, that's it. So um, I guess I'll end the video now.